स्टूडेंट्स केमिस्ट्री मधुन अपन टॉपिक नंबर फोर केमिकल थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स है तो स्टडी करना सो बिफोर टू स्टडी द थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स वी हैव टू सी द मीनिंग ऑफ द थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स सो द वर्ड इफ वी हैव स्प्लिट अप थर्मो प्लस डायनेमिक प्लस एस नाउ सी द थर्मो मीन्स हीट डायनेमिक चेंज एंड एस स्टडी ऑफ इट द ब्रांच ऑफ केमिस्ट्री कि ज्यादा ब्रांच मे अपन स्टडी करना कशा स्टडी करना द एनर्जी चेंजेस ओके नाउ सी द डेफिनेशन फर्स्ट थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स द ब्रांच ऑफ केमिस्ट्री कंसर्न विद द एनर्जी चेंजेस इन फिजिकल एंड केमिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो वी हैव टू स्टडी इन दिस टॉपिक एनर्जी चेंजेस ड्यूरिंग फिजिकल एंड केमिकल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नाउ सी द एग्जाम्पल सो आईस गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू द वॉटर when heat is absorbed by the ice so in this case delta h is equal to positive but in another case we have seen that water cools to convert into the ice means what the heat is supplied or it is given out from the system so see that delta is positive when heat is supplied and delta h is negative when heat cool when given out now you will understood what is the meaning of the thermodynamics the branch of chemistry concern with the energy changes in physical and chemical transformation so study the thermodynamics we need some basic concept now see the basic concept of thermodynamics so to study the thermodynamics we need two basic concept first is the system A part of universe under thermodynamic investigation is called system, and second part, whatever remaining part of the universe outside the system are called the surrounding. Now, see the definition first. All the other parts of the universe outside the system are called surrounding. Now, see the example. In a beaker, reaction takes place. Z n plus H c l. so the whatever part so here the system is the that in which z n and h c l are present so that become the system and above part above the system and whatever remaining part of the that that is called the surrounding so the system is a part of universe under thermodynamic investigation investigation means instead of study also so study Under the thermodynamic study, and the other part of the universe outside the system means what? Remaining whatever part above the system and surrounding. So that totally is called the surroundings. System that is open system. The world itself says it is open. Means what? See the a system which exchanges energy and matter with the surroundings. is called an open system mean for here the energy as well as matter exchanges with the surrounding now see the for example hot tea placed in an open cup now see the underline it is a open cup the hot tea is placed in open cup means what that heat is going to outside from the tea as well as some water vapor they are going out or they are exchanging with the surrounding now understood that that system which exchanges energy heat energy is going out as well as matter from the system is water vapor also moving out so that system is called the open system now second type of system that is a closed system now closed means something is there to uh, close it the closed system now see that a system which exchanges only energy not the matter with the surroundings is called a closed system now the same example is there but now hot tea placed in a closed cup so that cup is covered by the lid so that matter does not exchange with the surrounding now see the example that hot tea placed in the closed cup so that matter means what water vapor does not exchanges but heat removes from the system now third system that is 
existing which does not exchange either energy or matter with the surrounding is called an isolated system. Now see here in the open system energy and matter exchanges in closed system only energy exchanges but the third system is there the system which does not allow to exchange either energy or matter with the surrounding but in other words we can say that a system which exchanges neither energy nor matter with the surrounding is called an isolated system now in open system we have placed a hot tea in a open cup hot tea placed in the closed cup in the second time but now in third step the third type that hot tea placed in an isolated container means what that is a thermoflask. Now see the diagram that hot tea placed in the isolated container. So heat neither exchanges nor the matter exchanges with the surrounding. You understood that open system exchanges energy as well as matter with the surrounding. Close the system, a system which exchanges only energy not the matter. And third system, isolated system, a system which does not exchange either energy or matter with the surrounding. Now see the properties of system. First, extensive property. The X means extra. A property which depends on the amount of matter present in a system is called an extensive property. Now see the example of that extensive property is mass, volume, internal energy, etc. See the diagram. In the first box, that 10 gram of substance is there. In another box, that is 100 gram of substance. So matter, quantity of matter is changed. So mass also going to change. Opposite to that property, another property is there, intensive property. So it is a total opposite to the extensive property. Now see, a property which independent means what? not depend on the amount of matter present in the system. This property which do not depend on the amount of matter present in the system is called an intensive property. For example, boiling point, melting point, refractive index, etc. Now see the example. In the first beaker, 10 ml of water is taken. In another beaker, 100 ml of water is taken. If we will see the boiling point of both water, what will happen? The boiling point of the 10 ml water and boiling point of 100 ml of water will be the same. That will be the 100 centigrade. It does not depend upon the quantity of water. So, extensive depend upon the amount of matter, amount of matter and intensive do not depend upon the amount of matter. So these are two properties of the system. State function. A property which depends on state of system is called the state function. Now see the example pressure, temperature, volume, etc. See the diagram. The in diagram the state is first means condition and second that is the condition, second condition. Now see the pressure of the first state that is the P1 volume V1, temperature T1 and second state that is the pressure becomes P2, volume becomes V2 and temperature becomes T2. So the as the state changes, the values of the properties also are going to change. So depend upon the state, so the property is called the state function. Now what is meaning of that? A property which depend on state of system is called state function. And second that function is a path function. Path function means what? A property which depend on path which is followed by the system is called the path function. Now see the diagram. There are two states but that path, there are three paths. One, there is a system can changes from in either upper side, in straight side or in the down side. So the work depends upon that is the path which is followed by the system. So that work and heat are the path functions which are depend upon the path, not depend upon the state. 
but in the state function the property which depend upon the state of the system is called the state function process and types of process process is sort a part or set of operations which exchanges system from one equilibrium state to another is called process now understood that a part or set of operations which exchanges system from one equilibrium state to another is called process so there are different types of process so first we will see isothermal process so iso means same or constant so a process carried out at constant temperature if we will have to keep the temperature constant means we have to exchange the heat so that the process carried out at constant temperature is called an isothermal process process now see again a process carried out at constant temperature is called an isothermal process now in isothermal process the temperature of first state t1 equal to t2 so it remains constant so t1 becomes equal to t2 equal to t so change in temperature that is called the delta t so equal to t2 minus t1 equal to 0 if delta t equal to 0 then change in internal energy that is the delta u means change in internal energy also remains constant but that is a important in isothermal the process temperature constant means heat exchanges so delta h that is a change in heat never remains constant that is a change in heat energy or delta h never remains constant second that is the adiabatic process a this process opposite to the isothermal process a process carried out at constant heat means what to remain the constant heat the temperature changes or temperature exchanges during the system so a process carried out at constant heat is called an adiabatic process so in adiabatic process the h1 the heat of the first state h2 is the heat of the second state equal to same so h1 equal to h2 equal to h so change in heat that is h delta h h2 minus h1 becomes zero so heat does not exchange but heat does not exchange means what delta t not equal to zero and delta u not equal to zero this process is opposite to the isothermal process now third process will be the now see third process isochoric process a process carried out at constant volume is called an isochoric process means in this process the volume throughout the process remains constant so in isochoric process v1 equal to v2 equal to v so change in volume delta v equal to v2 minus v1 equal to 0 and fourth process that is isobaric process a process carried out at constant pressure is called an isobaric process in this process the pressure of the first state equal to the pressure of the second state so it never changes so in isobaric process p1 equal to p2 equal to p so change in pressure is delta p equal to p2 minus p1 equal to 0 now see the fifth reversible process the words itself says reverse means it changes from one state to another state again it changes from second another state to the one state so it is going to reverse a process in which infinite seemingly small difference between driving force and opposing force 
by slight increasing opposing force system can be reversed is called a reversible process now see the example the process in which the system from one state that is a to converts into the b state okay so the force in the one direction that is the driving force and if it reverse from back side or opposite side the force applied that is the opposing force so in this process driving force minus opposing force that difference is very small but when we are increasing by slight increasing opposing force that driving force becomes less than the opposing force or we can say that opposing force becomes greater than the driving force in this process system can be reversed so that type of process is called reversible process thermodynamics definition of thermodynamics basic concept of thermodynamics system surroundings then process types of process and four properties of the system that is a state function path function extensive property and intrinsic property on that we have to do the homework we have to put a notebook and solve these questions in a better way that is the question number one two third next we will see the that is the derivation of the maximum work done which is asked for the fourth